It's a new year and time for a new video. Tonight I am looking at doing something I've never tried before and I'm hoping that will be quite nice and tasty. I've bought some pork um, schnitzels as they're called here in Germany but without the bread and stuff on. But what I'm going to try and do is grill them but I want to make them a bit more spicy. So I'm going to try and make a, an Indian spice rub or Indian based spice rub. Um, to rub in the meat before I grill it and see how it goes. I'll probably do a fried rice with it as well and we'll see where we go with it. Hopefully something nice for me to eat. So first we'll start with the ingredients. Uh, over here we can of course see we have the pork waiting to be nicely um, spiced and then we will grill it. Down here then we have uh, some spices which I'm going to try and warm through in the pan first. Here there is about a tablespoon of cumin, about half a tablespoon of coriander powder, half a tablespoon of turmeric, about half a teaspoon of garam masala, uh, about two teaspoons of chili powder, and about 10 cardamom cloves that have been crushed and chopped up a little bit, just so that they can actually release a little bit of their flavor. Then the other ingredients that we'll add in after we've heated it through and cooled it down is about a teaspoon, a good teaspoon of sugar and about a tablespoon of salt. Um, I'm going to set up the frying pan to actually try and start heating these spices too. You just have to heat them until you get it um, really releasing some aroma I believe and then we just let them cool down and then we add the other ingredients to make the rub and then we'll start again from there. So I will start frying, or not frying, actually heating the spices through. I'll set up and we'll come back. Okay, we're ready. We've got the pan heating up. It's on a very low heat. So I guess we just chuck everything in and move it around on the pan until it starts releasing aroma or something like that. Right. We will see how it goes. Uh, I hope it goes well, otherwise I'm going to just burn the pan. Which also might be a bit of a funny video. Let's see how it goes on anyway. I'll probably zip through this and speed it up until I'm finished. It really doesn't look like much is happening, but hopefully we start getting the aroma being released in a little while and then it should be about done. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this, I'm not sure what I'm doing. And I haven't actually managed to watch a YouTube video telling me how, what to do. But hey, it was a voyage of real discovery. I got the idea mainly because uh, I've watched a couple of barbecue programs in the US um, where they use rubs and stuff like that for me for barbecuing. So I thought, well, as I like a grilled chop, it might be nice grilled also. So let's see how it goes. The powder seemed to be combining a bit. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to do. I certainly don't want to try and burn these. Um, and actually, there's an ingredient I forgot that I really also want in, which is garlic. I'm going to throw a little bit of garlic powder in also. And I'm going to put a teaspoon. And I'll put in. That's one. I'll try one and a half teaspoons of garlic powder. Mm. Oh, that smells really nice when I like the smell of garlic. Just give it a good mix in. And spread it out a little bit so we can get it to three. I might turn this up a fraction, up to level four. Let's 
see it's smoking a little bit now. It's not overly hot, but it may be quite nice soon. Mm, we're getting a little bit of aroma released. I think we need a bit more though. I really want to move around it. I'm really afraid of it starting to burn and stick. So again, I'm not sure what we are supposed to do with this. But the spices are remaining dry at least. This is just scraping the edges, knock the powder back down, and it gets knocked up. Okay, it's very obvious that. Don't know why I'm saying it. A couple of minutes in it already. Let's have a look at the camera. Wow, we've been six minutes doing this already. It's a really low heat, but I see some. We're getting some. I'm getting a release of some smells, but unfortunately, Indian spices always smell. You can always smell them, so I'm not sure what they mean by release the aroma. It's turning a darker colour, just toasting a little bit. I don't want to get to a stage where it burns. I wish people could tell me if they think that's done or not. That's the problem when you're doing it on your own. Nobody to tell you. <laughs> There's a, quite a bit of colour change here. To look back on the video and see something as well. Let's see how it goes. Okay, I'm gonna let this go for a few more minutes. Um, it's a really boring video, so what I will do is I will come back when I've taken it up. Okay, it's been another minute or so. I've just switched off the heat. I'm gonna take it up, put it in the bowl, crush the rest of the cardamom again a little bit, and then add the salt and the sugar once it's cooled down. Then I'll do the rub and start grilling the meat and we'll see what the outcome is like. Okay, quick look at where we are. Over here I have mixed in the salt and the sugar into the spice mix. It's all ready for a rub. I'm going to rub the um, pork with a little bit of oil first then sprinkle on the, the actual rub instead of keeping it dry because this pork is very little, very lean, not much fat. And then for my fried rice, uh, I've went mad chopping the onions. I think I went mad taking out the peas. Uh, these are also frozen um, peppers, some chopped up brown mushrooms, and of course rice, and a couple of eggs. These are small eggs, so I'm going to use three of them. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to beat the eggs with a pinch of salt and a pinch of MSG. And then I'm going to pre-season the rice with a little bit of the dark soy sauce here. Uh, give it a good mix-up before I cook it. Um, and maybe a little bit of salt and MSG in there also. Then what I'll do is I'll fry off the onions, followed by the peppers, then the mushrooms, add the rice in, and um, then finally the peas in near the end once it's cooking. It'll take about five or ten minutes. I'm going to need two hands for this because I'm going to have to wash the pork as well once it's done. Uh, I'll come back when I'm ready to go. Here we go. I have lightly oiled the pork and then I sprinkled a few teaspoons on each side of the pork and rubbed it in and that's what it's looking like and I will cook that under the grill. Then I got my wok ready, we're going to start it up. Then finally just over here I've beaten the eggs, uh, added a little bit of MSG, I have added a small touch of soy sauce to the rice, shook it around with a little bit of salt, a little bit of MSG. And then with all the rest of the ingredients, we're going to start. I'm going to come back when everything's ready and I can eat. See you later. Bye. Okay, after a bit of stir frying, this is the fried rice. Looks quite nice. Um, you can see more rice than anything else, but there's egg and everything else in there. It took me about five, ten minutes to do that. And then over here is the look of the chops or the pork after being fried. For me, that looks delicious. Okay, I'm going to plate it up and eat and maybe I'll tell you what it was like. Here we go. My some kind of version of a fried rice with some vegetables and rubbed pork. I've uh, just put some little bit of chopped chili and coriander on top of the fried rice. And now I'm going to taste it, eat it and then hopefully enjoy it.